Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we are pretty much leaving off, ex picking up exactly where we left off. Um, I am still super stressed. We have, of course, uh, grabbed James Sullivan and Megan Smart to be part of our team. Uh, we don't really have that many options. I really should have kept James out of the tavern. I don't know if I can pull him out now. Oh, I can. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to pull James out of the tavern. I can't be refunded the cost to put him in there, unfortunately, but that's fine. So this way we will have a bit of a higher level to go off on our next quest. So, Ruins, Warrens, Weald, and Cove. They are the four locations I was talking about last episode. Uh, so here, it's a medium length uh, quest, as you can see on the left. We've got a short quest, another short quest, and another medium quest. So we're gonna go with the, with the scout, which is where we just go and explore rooms. Hopefully there will be less uh, things to kill us. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of James is gonna go up the back there. That worked really well last time. Lauren, we're gonna get second last. Oh no, that's right. These guys really like being up the back, don't they? Um. All right. Well, Lauren, Lauren doesn't mind being first or second, so we are gonna throw her there. She prefers to be second over th a third over second, and James prefers to be. Th third, so... up second, I mean. God damn it. So, James. We're going to throw James up the very back. James Sullivan, that is, not James Wright. And Meg... Oh, do I want to take Meg or do I want to take my, my super stressed out self? Screw up, we're going to take Meg. Double healing. That'll be fine. We're just going to explore rooms, so we don't need too much combat, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Eight food... Alright, let's go again! So now we're going to remember the holy water didn't work on the cabinet last time, so we can't... or if we do... Pace out the halls of your lineage that. once familiar. Now, Boren. Alright, so with nine rooms, logically we should have to explore eight of them. So we're going to ignore this one, I reckon, and we're going to move straight on here. Let's pray for... no... anything? Fantastic. Successful hallway traversal, guys. Well done. Oh, no battle in here either. We're gonna go down, and then straight over to the left, up to the right, and then up again. So... I'm gonna light torch before I go in here, to hope get a chance of scouting. <laughs> But we do have insects. The insects are super weak, though, so that's fine. Oh, the beasts, sorry, are super weak. I'll make you meant to be in the front. What are you doing? That's fine. Judge one of these bastards. Oh, man, they suck at hitting me. Um... Oh, sweet. That'll light the torch up a bit more. So, as long as one of them keeps casting that, we should have a heap of light. Alright, now, I've never used the Arbalist before, so... She's an archer, or crossbowist, rather. Crossbowist? Yeah, that's a word. Um, so... Oh yeah, we can mark them and then bulk damage to them. Uh, don't have any AoE. Alright. And gives gives some to the torch. So we're gonna mark these ones up the back here, and now hopefully we will get some more back. Now, you are just gonna move back, James. Yep, fantastic. Resist that blight. Oh man, Mr. Sullivan. I, like, like, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it matters which, uh... Which... Vestal we have in which position. One to heal, one to do damage. Oh, marked. Okay, so the Arbalest can clear marks, so... No, he's trying to James is, so... Where was James? Was he second or third? 
Looked like the armalist was right at the back. Actually, so he was. Oh, who cares? Onward! Blight them! Yeah, nice. How quickly the tide turns. Oh dear. Alright, we're gonna have to throw a double heal out there. Oh, I can't heal that. I can't heal with the uh, position she's in. Um. Light them. Torch doesn't probably need an extra light. The enemy crumbles. So, that's fantastic. I oh, know I need to clear the mark. Is that correct? No. What? Oh, we're gonna lose Meg, aren't we? Meg, I'm so sorry. The true test. Hold fast or expire. Alright, so she's on death's door, so if she takes damage now, there is a chance that she can die. She's not dead yet, though. She's not dead yet. I just need to get a heal on her ASAP. Perhaps the turning point. And I mean like ASAP. Okay, that's fine. Just don't attack Meg. Okay. Um, I thought that was supposed to clear mark target base 75%. I don't know what that means. So we're just not going to do that. Um, how much damage does that do? 33%. We're going to hit that one. And we're going to try and kill this one. Oh, I can only hit that one. Okay, come on. Oh, that's pretty good. Five, that's a lot of damage to that. Oh, come on, Lauren. What are you doing? Prodigious size I know I hired you as a healer. The sharpened blade. Oh, fantastic. Whew. Okay, now we have a chance as to heal Meg up. Mount, so too will oh, she's resistance. blighted as well, so we'll give her the anti-venom. She's fine. And then get her off death's door. Uh, oh, no, she's not opening that. Lauren, you're opening that. Fantastic. Be more anti-venom. Oh, bandages. Fantastic. So that'll stop bleeding if it occurs. Let's move on to this one. Actually, let's get their order back. Uh, so the Vestal was at the back. Followed by... You were there. Actually, no, I think you were at the front, Meg. And then, Lauren, what can you cast from there? You can't judge, can't divine grace. You can illuminate those. So Jimmy, if you're there, you can Noxious Blast... You can endearing vapor. Yeah, okay, so that's about a spot for you. Alright. So remember, we go Megan, James, Lauren, James. Man, double James, that was that was, that was an annoying thing. Okay, that's boring. Oh, nice. Light another torch, and in we go. Oh, right. These guys are marginally stronger, but they're all surprised, so... Uh, let's just bash the front one's head in. Uh, let's mark one of these guys up the back here. They got quite a bit of extra damage on marked targets, I'm pretty sure. Uh, do they have light resist? They don't. They have bleed resist. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Straight up heal on Meg. Like this guy on the front here. Fantastic. Death oh, Lauren. For the slightest lapse in Fuck's sake, Lauren. Uh, plus 50% damage to mark targets, so we're going to fuck this guy up the back here. Arrow to the arrow to the balls. Do skeletons have balls? They would. No, bones. Balls aren't bones. Um, Alright, big skull into the dude. Get another heal off on Meg. Alright, I think we're okay, guys. I think we're okay. Meg's gonna take an axe to the face. Lauren's gonna take it. No, oh, that's right. She can heal herself. I think I have two healers in my party. It'd be a bit easier. The greater the glory. Um, okay, we're going to beat this dude in now, because this guy's probably gonna die from his blight. He is, so that's fine. Gonna get another heal off on Lauren. Oh, on Meg, sorry. Uh, the sniped the dude at the back. Give them no quarter. Yep, dead. He's gonna be dead very soon, this final guy. We're gonna light up the torch a bit more. 
as the fiend falls, take him out. A faint hope blossoms. Fantastic. We're gonna eat some food. Uh, do I want to risk it? James, test this for me. Awesome. What does he take? Plus 10% damage and plus 15% protection. That is fantastic. You do some damage, Mr. James Sullivan, so I am happy to have you very defensive. Oh! Who got hit? No, oh, James got hit. That's fine. Possessed by evil intent. Oh, no battle. Awesome. S onward. Awesome. Oh, man, we are, we are scoring well here today. Light another torch. Ambushed by foul invention. Alright, let's use our last two bits of food. Oh, oh, she's full. You... Come on, Meg. Don't be like that, mate. Alright, awesome. No, no battles in this one either. Oh, we're getting a scout. So there's one battle in the next room. We know that. In the next hallway, rather. Oh, good. It's only a little one. 8, 8, and 10. We can deal that. Deal with that. So we're going to blight this guy in the middle here. Hopefully. Yes, fantastic. We're going to heal Meg. She just insists on taking so much damage. Ouch. Oh, Lauren. Come on, mate. Does that knock her back? I think that's a... Nope. Not quite. Okay. Uh, melee bash. 20% oh. less dodge, actually. That's going to be useful. Uh, I'm not even going to bother marking. We're just going to shoot the dude out the back because he doesn't have that much health. Oh, that's going to put Lauren on death's door. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Oh, nice hit, Meg. Fantastic work. Uh, yep, shoot through the back then. Oh. So now as long as Lauren gets an attack before this guy, and as long as this guy doesn't attack Lauren. Oh, wait. Look at that. Unnecessary to even stress. They can so be Lauren, you need food. Just accidentally clicked the torch, but that's okay. Moving towards what could be our second last room, and I'm 90% sure there's no combat there. There is not. And we're getting a scout off as well. Awesome. So I'm going to go straight up. We're going to check these with James Sullivan. A good effect or a negative effect? Oh, he is now deadly. What does that mean? Oh, plus 1% crit. <laughs> Barely even noticeable. And a salvaged torch. Awesome. Into the final room, I think. Fantastic. We out. Get the, the fuck out of here. And sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. Oh man, I scored a ton of heirlooms. Mostly crests. Oh, and did I get, was that a trinket that I got as well? Alright, Meg. Plus one speed if half health. Plus 15% stun resist to James. Ooh, negative speed if below, torch is below 25, and plus 20% resist, stress resist if in the weld. And James Sullivan is just getting a straight up 10% stress relief. So, jump back into town. Hopefully we've unlocked the sanitarium now, we can start working out some kinks. Foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon uh, you to set it right. Just the blacksmith in the guild. So, by right... Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, trinket imagery, fantastic. Uh, negative 100% food consumption, but plus 10% max HP and negative 4 dodge. I can only go to the Crusader. Yeah, awesome. So, let's throw this there. And a plus 10 max HP and less dodge. We're going to throw that on Lauren, I reckon. Because she's my healer. Alright, awesome. Why did I come out no less stressed than when I went in? Oh, I couldn't de-stress because the Abbey was taken up. And he's still in there. Come on, mate. 
I still haven't unlocked the sanitarium either, so let's have a the guild. No mistake. We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. Alright, so the guild is used to upgrade skills and stuff. So we're gonna Oops. Drag me in there, what can I do? Oh, come on. Uh I can't really upgrade anything. I need instructor mastery level one, which is this. So let's get that. So now I can increase So what what's it currently do? Plus 58 damage to unholy, so smite two will do 20% versus unholy, an extra crit modifier, and do more damage. Oh more accuracy, have higher accuracy rather. And the, the blacksmith allows blast me to upgrade. Once again, the forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Allows me to upgrade weapons and armor. So if I drag myself into this one, my uh, equipment can be upgraded. So what do we want to do here? Let's we gotta de-stress some guys. Lauren especially. Uh, Lauren, I don't think has anything. Fear of mankind, maybe. No. Okay, awesome. So Lauren, we will throw you in for some meditation, and oh, I don't really want to go in without a healer. So I think we might have to keep Meg out and throw James in. Uh, and James, there's nothing James won't do. So let's throw James into that as well. I can't exactly embark on another quest. Oh wait, the stagecoach! Oh, we got some more. Take a new crusader a and a Helion. By holy purpose. A zealous warrior. So, who gets to be our new crusader? Let's have a look. The title: The Crusader will take the role of Dean Worth. Dean, it's great to have you on my team, friend. And how fitting, considering he once played a paladin in World of Warcraft. So. And the Helion. Helion will go to... Heidi Jane. I think I spelled that correctly. I did indeed. Welcome to the team, Heidi Jane. I right, can we get one more in? Let's go. Let's get one more quest in. Uh, do I want a short? Yeah, let's go another short scouting one. Heidi, you can come up the front. Dean, my friend, you can take the second. Uh, we will take a healer in Meg and throw her in the third spot. Uh, and then who's left? And then we'll take James again, and he because he likes to be on the back. So let's do this. Take some food. Take some torches and we'll. Oh, I don't want that. Take that back. Take some holy water and some medicinal. Herbs. Ah, screw it. We'll take one of each. Just in case. Just in case we encounter some unmentionables. And I do not mean underwear by that. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Oh, this is going to be easy. Now, Boren. I love the maps where it's obvious where you need to go. Alright, these guys are all weak as piss. Although that stress increase is, is no good. Um, self heal, we don't really need that. Uh, let's, get a, let's get a debuff going. Oh, or we'll just kill him. That's even better. Oh, he's got a battle heal. Um, oh, and a stress heal. That'll be useful. Plus 15 damage versus unholy, so... Oh, we can use it on him. Huh. Oh, he lunges forward, though. That's annoying. That's right, we'll get this one back up. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh no, he does. Oh no, that's right, that's a debuff that gets thrown in. Alright. Yeah, we are we are bolstering through these guys. Such a terrible Ooh, that crit's no good, though. Be left unanswered. That's right. Lauren will get uh, Meg will get her turn soon, and we will be able to see she's gonna heal herself. Oh the crit heal. Great work, Meg. Because uh, good old Dean here can uh self no quarter. Oh, 
Awesome. Wild hack should take care of this guy. No, it won't. It's close though. As the fiend falls, Fantastic. a faint hope blossoms. Onward. Man, that was a uh, combat on the first square of if the first corridor. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh, we got a scout off as well. Let's see, we have a trap incoming in both ways. Oh, both hallways are the same. But we will head up because there is treasure in that top room. So we're going to disable the trap. Yes, I know about disarming traps. Oh, she sucks at disarming traps. Come on, Heidi. James Sullivan, you take this one. Oh, boring. I'll light another torch before we go in here, though. Fantastic. No combat. Oh, we get another scout off. Awesome. So we're going to have some treasure, or at least a container here. Which, James, you're going to check for me again, buddy. And now you do 20% more damage. That's what I like to see. And now trap. James. Go and step into that trap hazards, for me. Possessed by evil intent. I'd prefer you, you know, disarm it, but look, that's fine. Um, yeah, she can do with a selfie on. No one else really needs it, so let's get a bit of damage on. Heidi's gonna totally destroy the front three. How quickly the and then take turns. a fuck ton of damage from it, so... Healer. For one. Yeah, great, Dean. Thanks, man. Man, we're gonna need that stress heal going on James soon. Um, that guy's gonna be probably more of a pain, I reckon, so let's, let's get the damage on him first. Twenty stress. Oh man. Heal Heidi. Oh wait, Heidi was meant to be one mode up. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, wild hack. Now nah, we'll do another breakthrough. Ugh. Great, you missed one, dealt zero to another. Let's just start. Let's just start beating him down. We'll we'll go for a rush here. Buff. Plus 20 damage and plus 9 speed. Spot on. Oh, but it won't necessarily hit the right person. I understand. Um, we can probably do without a heal. Let's get some... Let's, let's make sure he can't dodge everyone else's attacks. That's what's up. That's what's up. These nightmares awesome. creatures can be and filled. now they we will loot. Oh, God damn it. I resisted whatever it was, thank God. Um, let's heal you up a little bit. And on we go. Oh, destination. Duh. Alright, so we're going to have a container straight up, which... James, you're going to check for me. It's boring. And now we got combat incoming. So... Oh, thank God, they're so weak. 23 and 10. Uh, we, could, we could go a bit with the torch, I reckon. And hopefully if I can get them all down a little bit, then uh, Heidi's breakthrough will uh, kill them all. In one shot, that would be nice. Oh dear. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. No, not quite. Not quite, but that's okay. Oh, does that put Dean on death's door? It does! Brink, facing the abyss. Shit. Um, no, we can heal him out of that. That's fine. Uh, is that the random one? Yep. Man, that's a powerful attack. You heal Dean again. Oh, he's back on death's door. Terrible vistas of Come on, Dane. Reveal themselves. 
Stop being so useless, mate. Oh, Heidi, what are you doing with the zeros? Spot on. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow Without and a insidious killer. Or Crusader only. Let's throw that in there. So what does he have now? Plus 10 max HP, plus 20 healing skills. So that will be useful. Actually, we're going to heal him up right now. Use the rest of our food on him. Onward. No combat. That's great. Let's light another torch. So wait, one, with three, nine, and I have to put ninety, so we have to explore another eight. Oh dear. I forgot that was a mechanic. That is super frustrating, and now Dean's resolve is being tested. Oh, thank goodness. So that's a positive. That's a positive a one. I don't know what it means, though. Against the backdrop of despair. Yeah, so he's responding well. Uh, courageous means he takes less, 25% less stress damage to his companions. That's super useful. That is super useful. Oh, man, and they mix me around. Come on. I can't remember how it went. He's got plus 20% to healing, and it still does shit all. Oh cool, she can still do a random attack from where she is. I think the Helion is gonna be useless to me though. Oh, and, and that puts Meg on death's door. Hold fast or expire. Heidi, what are you doing? Alright, they're attacking James. Radical. That's fine. Come on, give me give me a character who's got, uh, got a heal to Alright, awesome, awesome. So we'll get Meg off death's door. Mortality clarifies. And that puts Dane on death's door. Oh, and Red now James as well. Unwound. Fuck, alright. Who's more important? Um. Sorry, Dean, but I gotta keep James alive. Oh, man. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It's alright, Dean. You're still with us, buddy. You're still with us. It's gonna put James back down at that store. God damn it! And that is a negative resolve being tested. And frailty, which means. Let me know what. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait, is. Oh man, Heidi's resolve's tested as well. Oh man, nah, I'm dead. I'm so dead. This is this is dreadful. This is actually dreadful. Just keep yourself alive. At least kill one of them. Oh, Heidi! Wait, who's about to have a heart attack? Oh, come on, still not dead. At least they've sort of relented. Heidi, what are you? Oh, God, I'm an idiot. The damage debuff from that move. Oh. All right. Awesome. Bit of respite. Okay. Oh, he's courageous anyway. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm faster than all of them. So. Oh, no. Apparently not. Still on death's door. That's fine. Get 
they're off Death Star. She can't do anything else from that position, so... Whatever, just switch. Oh, you can't. Okay, awesome. Dean carrying the team here. I'm sorry I was going to let you die, Dean. Okay. You're proving useful as all hell. Come on. Well struck. That's what we like. That's what we like. And we're just going to get out of here. We're just going to straight up flee. Unless I don't have any food or anything. <sighs> what are the chances I can keep going? I have three more rooms to explore. Fuck it. Fuck it, let's do this! Come on, be food. Be food. Ah, oh, goddammit. If there is, like, one more battle... If there is a battle in this room, I'm fucked. No scouting. No, nah, I gotta. No, nah, I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't do it. I'm so sorry, guys. I've let you down. And learn from it. I got some stuff though, so it's okay. All right, less speed, if half health. Dean's only gonna meditate, but he does more damage versus beasts. Oh, Megan's good in the wheel, in the weld, and James is going to have is worse against Eldrix. Oh dear. I remember days when the sun shone painful. and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Okay, so here it will show you what's happened while you were gone. So I've unlocked the sanitarium, which is great because that means I can get rid of certain quirks. Uh, Lauren is now calm, which means she's going to do 15% less damage on the first round. And James has become addicted to flagrance, uh, to, uh, to flagrancy. So he will only get whipped if he wants to relieve himself of stress. I can finally pray because that fucking dude is out of there. James does not have any particular preference, so we're going to throw him into the uh, f uh, flagellation. Sorry, flagellation. We're going to get Megan into the bar. She likes a drink, so we will uh, we'll throw her in there. Dean... Yeah, I'll throw Dean somewhere. Oh no, he'll only meditate, so he's no good to me. Heidi, you're going gambling. And we're going to throw... What's a, what's a bad quirk we can get rid of? Uh, that doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of Calm. We'll throw James in the Sanitarium. And we will remove his Calm trait. Upgrading sound, yeah, okay, sweet, 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 so we can get rid of perks there. Alright. In the abbey, in the abbey, in the sanitarium, and these two in the, in the bar. So, Dean, I can't really take with me. Oh, I should be able to get another one of you. A grave robber or a leper. Alright, so with the team that I have, I've got a two or three covered. I've got a two and a three covered. I can't really take Dean out again. Oh, fuck him, he's coming. So I need something that likes to be up the first position. So we're going to take a leper. We're going to take a leper, this and we're going to name it. That adversity and existence are one and the same. Our leper should be named after... Sean McNamara. So, Sean, welcome to the team, buddy. I am sorry that you had to be... We had to spell his last name. Sorry that you have to be a leper, but trust me, they are pretty badass. That is going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I will see you all next time when we play the Darkest Dungeon.